Hopefully that zooms in. But yeah, 5.46 a.m. Last night I went to bed. Well, I managed to get to bed around 12. It's not the most optimal thing in the world. And I would force myself to wake up at five. I still have a bunch of to do. I still got to clean my room, organize lunch for today, which is just some chicken breast I chuck in the air fryer. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna train chest. That Yeah, last night, I ended up having a good solid like meal. My protein was probably a little low yesterday. I don't track it religiously. Uh, I just know that, hey, I need to make sure whenever I'm having a meal, there's an adequate amount of protein in there, you know? So, yeah, I had my version of a Caesar salad, I guess you could say. The dressing's garlic sauce, and I put a bunch of like chicken skewers in there, which was already marinated, and a chicken drumstick. It came out really good, at least I thought so. <laughs> nah, and then on top of that, I had some chips for some carbs. After I finished that meal, I was still hungry, and so I decided to finish the rest of the chips off and have a whole bunch of carbs. I guess how you could say I carb loaded this morning. So this morning I woke up, I'm still feeling, I'm still like, I haven't put on weight. I'm still looking relatively lean, if you look at that. <laughs> I'm kind of keen to see how much my energy levels for today and uh, how my workout goes. So I'm gonna really push through it. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna chuck my chicken in this Portuguese soup mum makes, or sometimes my auntie. It's a, it's a Portuguese soup, it's, it's nice, it's healthy. It's got a bunch of stuff in there. It's got some chorizo or chorizo, if you like to say it that way. It's, you know, probably a bit of fats in there, whatever. And what I like to do is if I've got a, a piece of steak in there, I'll chop that up and put it in there. It actually goes well, really nice. But I got some chicken breast paired with the air fryer, chop that up, add it to the soup. The soup's got plenty of nutrients, it's healthy, and you know, it's probably not that calorically dense. For lunch, it's gonna be that with some chicken breast. Oh yeah, I had a black coffee this morning. I didn't put any protein in my coffee because I still felt really full. I don't feel like having any extra calories. I just needed f***ing energy to wake up. Whoa. <laughs> Finally feeling lean enough where I'm feeling confident to wear these f***ing base layers. Or compression tops if you like to call them. I am a huge Gymshark fan. I love their clothes. I love their stuff. I bought these ages ago. I don't think they sell these versions anymore, the grey ones. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I feel like the, one of the best things you could do to start off your day is your own personal room, clean it. The first thing you could do is just kind of ground yourself. I like to go to the gym. I, well, first I like to wake up, make sure my room is clean and somewhat organized. You have an organized room, you have an organized life. That's as simple as I can put it. I feel like my mind's so much clearer when I have a clean room. When everything's a mess and everything's everywhere, it's kind of, your room is a representation of your life. So do that what you will with that information. Do that, what is that saying? That's fucking too early. As you may or may not notice, mattress on the floor. Well, you might be like, oh, why is the mattress on the floor? Why are you sleeping on the floor? Well, mainly because of... Is that behind me? Yeah. Budgeting. Yeah, priorities, really. <laughs> it's like, okay, I was doing my whole setup and then, you know, you get too much into the setup. I mean, eventually I want to get a bed and, you know, do that up. But do I really need a bed? Is that really that important? For me, it's like, okay, what benefit is me spending money onto a bed? That's kind of just like a optional thing. It's like, oh, okay, it makes your room look good. I mean, who's going to really see my room other than you guys on blogging? And I'm like, oh. Or in fact, this, putting money, putting extra money into this setup just improves productivity. In my mind, I would rather like put more money into that. The mattress is the biggest part. No, the mattress is a good mattress, but like, it's like, well, it's not going to improve any productivity <laughs> in any way. It's like sleeping on the floor is the same as sleeping on a bed, except it makes your room look good, which eventually, yeah, we can get to, but priorities. <laughs> Probably left that a bit too long, to be honest, but that's actually crispy on the outside. Would you believe I didn't put any breadcrumbs on there? That's just air fried fucking chicken breast. Beautiful. Here's a grab of this soup. You see this soup, it's, uh, I mean, look, it probably doesn't look the most appetizing, but I tell you, it tastes pretty good. God knows the amount of nutrients are in that, you know? You grab like a container size of your head. <laughs> oh, you grab the scissors. For now, let me just chop. Now look, I know the look, this doesn't look like the most appetizing thing, 
But hey, look, I guarantee you it tastes way better than it looks. And if you want a recipe, I can attempt to cook it. Once I do, I will make it look good for you. But right now, I, I don't give a fuck. I just need this done, ready for me to take to work. It's gonna be my lunch. And I'll probably just, you know, survive on some water till then. Probably gonna be about, what, 800 calories, 850? Worst case scenario is about 1,000 calories. Like with the beans and the chicken, I mean, the chicken breast is nothing. Maybe a few beans in there from the calories and the chorizo or chorizo. It's about six, it's almost 6.30. I've got to get to the gym and at least pump out some sort of workout, right? That's the reason I woke up early to do everything, get everything sorted. Look, I don't consider myself special in any way. I consider myself fortunate to have grown up with parents who, I consider myself fortunate enough to grow up with parents who instilled some good values and good life morals and a good work ethic in a sense of like, okay, you know, supportive, follow my dreams, follow your passion, this and that. And so all these life lessons that I, I know on how to conduct life and this and tips on, you know, trying to achieve success and just my mindset overall, just to, I've always been an optimistic person. I've always been someone who never, like I was, I was taught not to never give up no matter what. I'm sure a lot of you guys have. And I'm telling you, I've, I started training back in year seven and I've always, like failed, I guess you could say, trying to diet over and over and over again. I mean, there was times I got somewhat lean and I didn't have as much muscle mass and I was constantly fluctuating between dirty bulking and cutting. And I never really got super, super lean and cut, but I didn't let that stop me. But I didn't let that stop me and I never gave up. Like I would fail on my diet and I would crash and I'd start binge eating and be like, I need a diet break, I need a mental break. Yeah, fair enough, I put on a bunch of extra weight again. I used that as an excuse, blah, blah, blah. And I kept on, you know, going backwards and this and that. And I, I could show you my whole transformation story. I want to get around to doing that as well. But the one thing I didn't do was give up and be like, all right, this was too hard. Nah, I'm calling it in. I'm not supposed to be shredded. I can't do it. I'm, you know, but no, f that. All right, f that. All right, I kept on going, because that's what I wanted I, what I wanted was to have a fucking good decent physique I wanted to be lean I want to be sure I wanted fucking abs more than anything in the world at first it was to impress girls but now it's just for my own self-love I want to be able to just walk around like topless and be fucking comfortable I'm finally getting there and I'm sure a lot of you guys want to do that as well yeah well I'm just showing you my way and what I've developed throughout the years and maybe give you some tips so, with that being said, I'm just gonna take you through the gym. Um, gonna probably put some, that's probably gonna be enough of me talking. It's 6.30, I gotta get myself to the gym and back, do a quick, solid, intense workout. The quicker it is, the more intense it's gonna have to be. So, no matter what, I'm gonna do a workout, I'm gonna clean things up, and I will catch you guys at the gym. All right, now let's roll the, and I'm gonna make a nice cinematic edit, some nice music. Blah, 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 and we'll see how things go, shall we? <laughs> All right, I think I've said enough for today's video. All right. <clears throat> Catch you guys at the gym.
Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day. The clock takes life away. So unreal. Didn't look out below. Watch the time go right out the window. Trying to hold on to didn't even know. I wasted it all just to watch it. you go. I kept everything inside. I didn't even know I tried. It all fell apart. What it meant to me will eventually be a memory of a time I tried so hard. Watch the time go right out the window Trying to hold on to didn't even know I wasted it all just to watch you go I kept everything inside didn't even know I tried It all fell apart What it meant to be will eventually be a memory of a time I tried so hard Okay, all right, all right. Well, got to turn it down a little bit. But god damn, that was a that was a really intense session. That posing at the end, that lighting, the sun was coming through and I'm like, I got to hop on this. I'm like, look, at the end of the day, as long as I'm not getting in anyone's way, obviously, you know. The first thing is I finally got over my fear over the smallest gym. Like, I don't know if you could grasp the size of that gym just by, you know, watching me train. But I finally got over my fear and was like, you know what? Because I, I started at the Dermot gym, the more cinematic one. And I realized a bigger gym, you know, you have more space to sort of be in your own. So it's easier than a more compact gym is more intimidating. But that also comes down to confidence. It gets less in my head the more I'm confident in myself. So the more of a leaner, better physique I have, the more... I can validate myself and I know how extremely intimidating it is trying to film yourself at the gym when you're not like 100% there I'm like not fully lean out you know 10% body fat with abs and all that what do you think I keep my shirt on because my stomach's still I haven't gotten abs yet but my muscles are popping through and I can't believe how much muscle mass I have developed over the years of training in saying that guys I got over my fear and I started recording myself I just put it up there I started and look no one came up to me and said anything that that's the number one thing if they did then I would have been like all right cool no worries I would have I wouldn't have filmed you know I would have actually respected the wishes because the most important thing is that you do not get in anyone's way now if someone does care enough to actually approach you and be like hey look you know I don't want to be in the background this and that then you know obviously that's more important your filming comes second best but look the most important thing is at least making some sort of progression whether it be weight loss where maybe strength may not be the most important thing for whatever reason my strength in my dumbbell presses have always been probably my strongest lifts out of everything squat seems to be the exercise that I need the most improvement in because your legs are a big muscle group and in comparison to everything my legs should be much stronger but that's when I focus on bulking and actually feeding my body properly anyways guys hope you have a lovely productive day when you're watching this i don't know when you're watching this whatever but hope you're enjoying the video so far i gotta get home
I'm gonna make. 